And we're live. It's Adam Robinson, founder and CEO of Retention.com. We help direct consumer e-com brands grow and monetize their audience. I talked last week about Alex from Mosey's $100 million offer and how that's a great sort of paradigm changing book for me and how I'm thinking about doing things here. And I actually, I told you how it has transformed the offers in our business in the week before. So go back and look at it. I literally show you how it has changed our sales deck. So um, that was a deeply impactful book. One thing, there's another book, Seth Godin's Purple Cow, that I feel like when you're starting a company and like there's a general direction you're heading with the product you're trying to create, um, it is very, very helpful to have this book in mind uh, when you start building. And I think the, the here's the Purple Cow idea, right? Like when you're driving down the road, if you see a brown cow, when you get to wherever you're going, you are not going to tell that person that you saw a brown cow. If you're driving down the road and you see a purple cow, uh, you will for sure talk to the person when you arrive about the fact that you saw a purple cow because it is remarkable, right? In marketing terms, it more specifically, it's differentiated in a remarkable way, in a, in a, in a very infrequent and remarkable way, right? So... Another way I like to talk about this idea, which I talk to about our team the whole time, I want to sell things that seem magical to people, right? And this was not always this way with me. Uh, I did not always believe that selling magical things was the, the, the way I wanted to approach the market. So <clears throat> let me give you a story about when I was attempting to sell things that were not magical. Um, Robly email marketing, uh, it basically competed with MailChimp and Constant Contact. It was in the email uh, newsletter in marketing automation space. There's 200 vendors. It's super noisy. Everybody sells the same thing. It's a very hard thing. Uh, very hard thing to win at. Um, Diane and I, my co-founder, we had this idea, which turned out to be totally wrong, that there was space. I was trying to do things MailChimp wasn't doing. We had this idea there was space to be filled above MailChimp, which turned out to be totally wrong. But we had this idea that there was space above MailChimp and below like whatever MarPost and like, uh, you know, Salesforce Marketing Cloud and all these other people where there was, there was an, an underserved market. We had been building this product for a long time and to announce the launch of the product, which we had called lead.com, got this, you know, huge domain uh, again, um, uh, on lease though, from, from this guy, uh, we did this massive stunt where I spent $30,000. I got a ton. Uh, I got like 25 models at traffic and conversion and this trade show and it's predominantly a male audience. So I got these like beautiful girls. They all dressed up in this lead.com gear, went around handing out gum and getting people's business cards. Now, after one day of the show, I was devastated sitting there in bed with my wife <laughs> and she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, no one cares about what we're talking about, right? Nobody. You could just see it in their faces. We were describing what it was and no one cared. Um, the interesting thing is I had heard about what get emails. I'd heard that was possible, right? I didn't know how to do it, but I was just like, well, let me throw it out there when I'm talking to people to see if they would care. I would mention that I could get email addresses from people that didn't fill out forms to this crew. Every single one of their faces lit up. Every one of them started looking at me, looking me in the eye and saying, well, how do I get that, right? And this to me is a very good representation of what is not a purple cow and what is a purple cow, right? And I can tell you, <laughs> get emails is a purple cow and it grew from zero to 12 million AR with six people in 2.5 years with no funding because it is a purple cow that worked, right? You need some follow up with the actual product, but like this initial thing of just like, are you kidding me? Like uh, that's possible, you know? So, um, I try to encourage the discipline to only sell products that at least have what you're leading with, right? What you're hooking people with be something that is magical, right? Lead with a purple cow.